My name's Paul Buckley and I'm a laser applications engineer for Colchester Machine Tool Solutions. Yeah, it's true, Colchester actually sell lasers as well as machine tools. My normal job is out on the road, um, doing demonstrations, doing installations, training, uh, advising people about their applications. But like everybody else at this time, I'm stuck at home. Um, you might think that would present a problem for a laser engineer, but fortunately at Colchester we've got a fantastic little product called the Laser Gear Cube. It's small, it's compact, so small and compact in fact that I'm actually going to set it up in my kitchen. Um, it's as simple as setting up a TV but a lot more fun and I'd like to spend a bit of time showing you. So, there we have it. Everything you need for your very own kitchen laser. We've got a tool post on the left hand side, the laser scan head in the middle, and then the laser gear cube control box to the left hand side, complete with laptop and cables. You can see how small the control box itself is. I've left you a mug there for comparison. So inside the control box we've got the laser source itself, we've got the control cards, we've got power supplies, everything that we need to operate the system. Next stage is we'll build it all. I've connected the scan head to the tool post. The connections we need to make on the back of the laser and just explain what is actually on the back of the laser. So we've got the fiber optic cable coming from the laser source. That's the thing that carries the laser beam up to the scan head itself. Uh, on the left hand side there we've got a pendant connection. Um, with this particular system, should we so desire, we can have a driven tool post. Um, if you find the movement of winding a small handle too taxing, you can actually have it done um, electrically. Next to that, we've got the laser USB connection. So this is the bit that connects the uh, laser control card up to the software in the laptop, and that's how we control the laser. We've also got an auxiliary port on there so if we want to connect other pieces of equipment uh, and later on we'll be connecting a, a rotary system up through the auxiliary port an emergency stop and we've got a laser control so apart from being a standalone unit that you can use in your kitchen you can also integrate this into a production line and the laser control and emergency stop are um, IOs, inputs and outputs that we can use to connect up to PLCs, we can connect up to conveyor belts, robots. Um, Anything that you would need to integrate it into a production line. So we're going to start making these connections up. Um, when you get a laser from Colchester, all the bits you need uh, are included in the kit. Okay, time to load the laser gear control software onto the laptop. Uh, couldn't be easier. The actual software is inside the cube control box itself. So if we just plug in the USB, there it is. And there you can see it's detected the software itself. So LG Cube E. So if we go down, you can see there it is. And there's all the things we need to get the laser up and running. Test files, manuals, software, software video tutorials, everything that we need. So the first thing that we need are the drivers, which are in there. So next stage, device manager. So what we need to do is turn the laser on. So now the laser's turned on and you can search for device manager. And there it is. Open device manager and you can see just here USB LMC V2. I'm going to zoom in a bit on this so you can see perhaps a little bit clearer. There you go. USB LMC V2. That's the laser control card. So now 
we actually need to update the driver on that. Um, all this is explained in the manual, but obviously I've done this before. So, update driver, browse, and browse, and obviously this software is in LGQE. So we're opening that up, we're opening the software up, we're opening the drivers up, We're opening the USB LMC version 2 and then we choose in which version of Windows we've got, which in this case is Windows 10. OK. Next. And there you go, installing the drivers. So, LaserMark, Control Board, version 3, USB. And you can see that it's now changed to LaserMark Control Board version 3 USB. OK, almost there now. We just need to load the laser control software on. We've got the drivers. And we're now going to put on there again in LGQB the software that we need to make the laser work and this is MiniLase Pro SE so left click there's the executable file so double click and follow the instructions really it is there you can see it's actually down here at the moment. There we go. So we just follow the installer instructions. So you can see it's come up there with a little card that says lens configuration. Each laser is totally unique because of the configuration of both the lens if you're using a rotary system so each uh, laser is set up in the factory and has its own configuration files so you can see there it says load configuration so if we load configuration you can see that's one of the files that is in there which is absolutely unique so what we'll do is we'll go back and just check next and there it's telling us what we've got in there so now we install and you can see we've now completed the software installation so finish Agree to the license if you so desire, usually a good idea or it won't work. Okay, so we should now get the software, which you can see there, MiniLays Pro SE, software on. So now we're good to go. Okay, so there we have it. That's how simple it is to set a laser up in your kitchen. That's how simple it is to set up the Laser Gear Cube. Uh, if you're interested in the Laser Gear Cube or in any of our other products, in fact, um, just take a look on our website, www.colchester.co.uk. Um, if you're interested and we get enough feedback, I may do some more video clips of the software itself. So that's it for now, um, just one more thing to do, so safety glasses on. Goodbye.